side effects may include. Okay, anyone intrigued by the side effects to hosting a Super Bowl party? There are side effects. And the side effects to hosting a Super Bowl party may include worrying you didn't buy enough ice, so you bought too much ice and then told everyone about it like it's actually a really funny story. <laughs> a sore throat from shouting, what the hell was that Doritos commercial? <laughs> Constantly asking everyone if they were having a good time, even though you were the one definitely not having a good time. <laughs> Getting annoyed when the person who brought boxed wine proceeded to drink all of your craft beer. <laughs> Missing the most important part of the game because you were on the floor cleaning up the potato salad that Carol spilled and walked away from because she thought nobody noticed. I noticed, Carol. It's my <laughs> home. <laughs> and the final side effect of hosting a Super Bowl party is never hosting a Super Bowl party again. <laughs> um, what about uh, watching the Super Bowl without knowing anything about American football? <laughs> A little close to home. There are side effects to watching the Super Bowl without knowing anything about American football, and they include asking what happened to Giselle's husband, <laughs> talking throughout the whole game and then yell at, yelling at everyone to shut up during the halftime show, <laughs> screaming, go! when Beyonce joined Coldplay. <laughs> Annoying everyone when you refer to the Panthers and Broncos as the blue team and the orange team. <laughs> and the final side effect to watching the Super Bowl without knowing anything about American football is stabbing yourself in the leg with a pencil so you didn't call it American football instead of just football, even though the rest of the world already has a game called football that's actually played with your feet. <laughs> What, a, what, what about being the fourth layer in a seven-layer dip? <laughs> if you're thinking of being the fourth layer in a seven-layer dip, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include... You are beans. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are beans. Um, now... Anyone here a Carolina Panthers fan whose wife also left them this week? <laughs> because if you're a Carolina Panthers fan whose wife also left you this week, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include asking yourself if your team was even trying, <laughs> yelling that they weren't putting any effort in towards the end, even though you hadn't given up, Realising the Panthers will never wear this year's Super Bowl ring as you stare down at your own ringless finger. <laughs> Not being able to see your players on the weekends. <laughs> Seriously wondering if humans were meant to be loyal to just one team for the rest of their lives. Think about all of the other teams you could have been rooting... rooting for. <laughs> And the final side effect of being a Carolina Panther, Panthers fan the same week your wife left you is realising you never liked football in the first place. All women, oh, my God, you're finally free. <laughs> what about... What about being Cam Newton today? There are side effects to being Cam Newton today, and they may include... Flashing back to Peyton Manning kissing Papa John while you order Domino's. <laughs> Dabbing your tears after losing the Super Bowl. <laughs> Having to pay for your trip to Disneyland. <laughs> Returning your Versace pants because they sort of scream winners only. <laughs> Not getting that Fig Newton sponsorship you wanted. Spending the whole season thinking you're Superman, then playing the Super Bowl like you're just Clark Kent. <laughs> and the final side effect of being Cam Newton today is feeling sorry for yourself until you realise you're still Cam Newton. You're 26, you're beautiful, you're rich, and you will definitely be back again. <laughs>